that I will be walking one and a half mile an hour, if not less, uh, for a while. Johnny, welcome to the broadcast. Check it says, is the loud music on your phone? No, it's in the speaker. Get get to the river and bathe your feet, says Cass. No, no, I'm in the swamps. There, you can't get in the, you can't get in the water in these areas. You get eaten by an alligator. Plus, the water's all murky. None of it's clean. Oh, Jimmy. It'll never end with you, will it? Well, it looks like James Soroka has returned to the internet under a completely different name. If you guys are not aware of who James Soroka is, I have a playlist of a lot of videos that I have done covering this dude and what he's done. He was arrested for hitting his, I don't know if it was his wife or it was his girlfriend, but somebody that he was in a relationship with, he got arrested for hitting her. And there was also a woman that he was involved with named Caitlin, who he had abused. And he came back with a new Facebook, a new Twitter. And he also gave out a new phone number. And he also has a new Twitch, uh, I believe. He has some other new social media profiles. I'm not sure what those are, but I have only seen his new Twitch aside from his new Twitter and his new Facebook. So those three are the only that I am aware of. Um, the only three that I am aware of at the moment. And he has also been live streaming on a website called Bigo. I don't know if it's big O, big O, whatever. I don't know how you say it, but he's been streaming on there. And he's also, from what I was told by someone by the name of Grayson Riley, he is still traveling and still trying to do the whole feet piece thing. There is a channel that is run by Steve DeLive. And Steve DeLive has been archiving all of James Soroka's streams from this website. I will leave a link to that channel in the description in case any of you guys want to see all of the streams that James Soroka has recently been making because they are on that channel. But I don't know how somebody can go from being arrested, from abusing a woman live on camera, to continuing to live stream and travel and just make fake accounts and try to stay relevant under another name. I mean, if you have to change your online alias when you get in fucked up shit. It just shows that you can't handle the heat. You can't handle the backlash. You don't see me ever doing anything like that because I have been able to handle the heat. There are times when I can't handle the heat. Yes, everybody's different. Um, in regards to how they handle backlash and how they handle hate and negative attention. But I, for the most part, will never change my name, use a fake name, or just try to, you know, run away to a different country or change my identity whenever I get caught or get into shit. I don't know who he thinks he's trying to fool, but I'm sure that this is not going to be the last we hear of James Soroka. There probably will be a lot more. I don't think he's going to stop streaming on this website, whatever the fuck this website is. I literally never heard of it until somebody had told me about it, until Grayson Riley had told me about it on Twitter. So 
Thank you to Grayson Riley, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one as always. So, peace out.